Welcome back. Let's welcome our entire team now to tell us about the list of top 10 stocks as we get into a brand new day, a brand new week of trade. Hi guys, good morning to all of you. Uh, Reema, are you looking at Coforge this morning? Uh, yes, because on Saturday, the board held a board meeting where uh, they have approved a fundraise of 3,200 crore rupees via a QIP. So this is a fairly large fundraise that the company is doing, 3,200 crore rupees. The stock is done well. It's up 56% in the last one year. It's just about 10% away from its 52-week high level. So it's not a stock which is underperformed. It's done well. Now, according to analysts, this fundraise could be for two reasons. Either to pay off debt, because the company does have debt on its books, or it could be for an M&A. Now, the company last June or July had outlined its intention to double its revenues. Its revenues were $1 billion. They want their revenues to go up to $2 billion in the next five years, which basically means by F528. And part of that entails an M&A component. So this fundraise could be perhaps to, you know, pare down their debt, which brings down their interest costs, or it could also be, uh, you know, because the company is scouting for some acquisition opportunities. But it's a large fundraise, so we're going to be watching CoForge very carefully. All right, uh, Rima, thanks very much uh, for that. Zydus Life is the next one that we're focused on. Ekta is here with details. Ekta, money. Thanks for that. Well, uh, they've received final approval from the US FDA for a drug, finasteride, as well as tadalafil uh, capsules. Now, uh, the reason why Zydus would be in focus is because they've received first approved application, which means that they are eligible for 180 day exclusivity on this particular drug, which is uh, used to treat prostatic conditions. Uh, it will be manufactured at the company's Ahmedabad SEZ facility. So it should be positive. Let's see the market size. and uh, But nonetheless, they've got exclusivity for the drug. So it should definitely add on to their US sales. All right. Thanks a lot for that. Well, Vivek is with us to talk about GSW Energy, SJVN and KSB. Vivek, over to you. Well, good morning. You know, some interesting news flow there. First up, JSW Energy. So the company subsidiary, you know, mainly uh, focused on renewable energy, which is called as JSW Neo, has been awarded an additional 500 megawatt of wind power capacity under SECI, which is the nodal agency. So now the cumulative capacity allotted under SECI Trans 16 for the company stands at 1000 megawatt. The company's total install capacity is now at 7.2 gigawatt of which 1.6 gigawatt is within the wind energy itself. The second stock on the radar is LJVN. LJVN Green Energy, again the renewable energy arm of the company, has received an LOI, the letter of intent from the Gujarat Discom. Now this is for a 200 megawatt solar power project. The com uh, company backed this particular project under the uh, competitive bidding process and the tariff of 2.66 rupees per unit. Lastly, keep an eye out for KSB as well. The company has received a letter, letter of award under the PM Kusum Scream 3. Now, what actually happened is that the company would be providing close to 2,500 solar water pumping systems, and the total order size for the company is over 63 crores. So, some positive news flow coming in for KSB as well. Thank you very much for that. But LIC could see a bit of a financial dent as the company has implemented some wage hikes for its employees. Yash joins in with the details. Yash. Well, Rima, financial bent, as you pointed out, for LIC. But a good news uh, as far as employees of LIC are concerned, what has happened is that the government has approved a 17% wage hike for LIC employees. This is expected to benefit about 1.1 lakh LIC employees. Now, this particular revision of uh, nearly 17% in the wage bill for LIC uh, includes an NPS contribution, which will be increased from 10% to about 14%. This also includes about a one-time gratia uh, bonus payment to LIC pensioners uh, all put together, about 17% increase in the wage bill uh, for the Life Insurance Corporation of India. Now, the negative, as you spoke about, of course, this puts a pressure of nearly about 4,000 crore as far as LIC's expenses towards employees are concerned. Okay, uh, yes, thanks very much uh, for that. We'll keep an eye out on that stock, LIC. Now, more stocks with news flow. Upasna is here with details. Upasna, money. Good morning. First up is HAL. Well, the Ministry of Defence has signed a contract for mainly upgrading 25 Dornier aircraft for the Indian Navy at a cost of around 2,890 crores. That's the reason the stock will be in focus today. Next up is Railtel. It has received 352 crore work order from BMC. Next up is Lupin. USFDA has, in, has in, inspected manufacturing facility at Aurangabad from March 6 to March 15. And the inspection was concluded with the issuance of one observation. Well, that's the reason I expect the stock to open in red today. 
Next up is Amber Enterprises. The company has incorporated a wholly owned subsidiary named AT Railway Subsystems Private Limited with the main aim to carry on the business of railway components and subsystems for the rolling stock industry in India and overseas and company also aims to expand their business in the global markets. So these are the stocks that I would be watching out for. All right, thanks a lot, Apasana, for that. Well, here's a quick recap of our top stocks. Stocks with positive news flow, that's Coforge, Zydus Lives, GSW Energy, SJVN, KSB, Hindustan Aeronautics, Railtel Corp and Amber Enterprises. While stocks with negative news flow, there's LIC and Lupin. But there are